Hello, everybody. Yeah, welcome back to another episode of Unsealed and Revealed. Yeah, yeah, happy, happy. We're having a good time. I am very excited uh, to be bringing this episode to you. Now, as always, to my left, your right, we have Cassidy here. Cassidy here is on the ones and twos. She's going to be taking your questions, comments, and concerns uh, about this here. It's going to be live. She will take those on Facebook and on YouTube. Yes, I will. Uh, and she will relay them to either myself or Guy. So don't be afraid to speak up in the chat uh, if you have something to ask. Uh, now over there, all the way over there, way over there, I have my man, six scale expert and all around fantastic guy to know, Guy Clender. Well, guy, thank you. You're welcome, Guy. <laughs> Uh, that's all you get to say. I, that's I all I say. Um, it looks to me like we have the Hot Toys six scale Gellert Grindelwald uh, piece here that we're going to be opening up. Now this, we recently did the Newt Scamander piece. Yes. And uh, and I had said then that I'm while I'm not a big uh, Fantastic Beasts guy, that is one of my favorite pieces we've ever done. So I'm really excited to see you crack into this baby because. This I mean, this is on. a great companion piece. I, this of the two was the one when announced. I was most excited about, and it's based on what the outfit is like. And they have done a great job in here. So uh, let's take a look first uh, at our box art. Look at that. That's, that's our man John Depp. Yes, yes. Now that is actually a shot of the figure itself. Um, now as we pull back, um, we're going to see that that uh, gold inlay that is uh, placed around it does have again. Uh, like we saw on Newt, a few of the hidden items. And right up here, you're going to see the skull. Secret skull. The secret skull uh, that is uh, put in there. And that uh, is also a figure, uh, a piece that comes with the figure. On the side here, let's take a look if we can get there. There we go. There you go. Uh, again, you're going to see that skull, the name, and the Eldervond. Uh, the Eldervond. It. Yes. Oh, look at that. It <laughs> pop. It's funny, that back popped. That, that man. back popped, right? Um, all of your warnings not to, you know, do evil spells. Uh, things like that. Uh, dark magic. Don't do dark magic. Don't do dark magic. Uh, and such with it. All right? So. I'm noticing here a mm -hmm. theme among Harry Potter characters. If they're really into skulls, you mm -hmm. should be wary of them. Probably, yes. Because yes. this guy's into it, and I know for a fact that he does crimes. Yes, yes, he so. does. He does. He's he's yeah. into the crimes. Um, so let's take a look. This is our going to be our shoebox style. He soups into crimes. And underneath, mm -hmm. there's a lot going on in this oh. first piece. Um, I may have to angle it. Yeah, I was uh, or say, take it out to because it's like a an um, ochre to it's show like... uh, what it is. So I want to move the figure to the side just to get into this cast and crew uh, deal. This is. Or maybe I can put it on here. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to try probably, and do it on the, just because be of how many things are uh, hidden in here. Inside on the sides here, uh, along that edge, is the elder wand that's put. Elder wand that's put in. Why am I, I saying? Like, why it are like, you doing? I'm that? doing that like uh, his uh, his last name. Uh, you're going to have the skull with the uh, pipe on the back that he uses. You also have the raven um, that is the Lestrange family crest. Uh, where everything happens at the very uh, end of it. Uh, in these corner here, and hidden in there, uh, you also have the little Nifflers and some of the other uh, oh. beast characters. So they've really done a neat job of hiding stuff. You could say that they put on some fantastic beasts. They did, they did indeed. That's they, from the movie. <laughs> they did. Um, it's, it's just, a, again, uh, a neat idea. We kind of saw the, the uh, phoenix with the other. Okay, so... Let's take a peek here. Oh, here it comes. This is all Guy really needs right here. Yes. He's cracking this baby open. Is the instructions. Um, they're important. There's not a lot to them, but um, there is some stuff in here that you will want to know. It's a good read. Uh, it's a good read. Quick um, read. Yep, it's a quick read. It's going to uh, tell you uh, how to put your batteries into the light up feature, how to remove the cloak if you uh, need, and the blood packed oath pendant. Um, how exactly to attach that. And that one there is a, a little unique uh, on it. So let's take a peek. On the outer case, our first one is going to be our additional hands and wands, okay? Then trade two is going to have our figure. All right. Oh. Pow. And we're gonna jump right in and go with why it's exclusive. And we have an additional 
Fantastic beast. Oh, look at that. It's a really neat one. Oh, that's uh, cool. With real feathers. Ooh, look at that little guy. That is the, the detail in this guy here is pretty darn impressive. Uh, we only see him for a moment in the film. Uh, he's quite large, like about this size, uh, in the uh, window, and Jacob tells him he doesn't have time for, uh, he's got problems of his own. Um, but I like the addition of, of the creatures. Yeah. Kind of fleshing out um, that world. And if you are, I think, a collector of the, the Potterverse yes. um, stuff, that these sort of add little bonuses um, to exactly. that. Which is this uh, this particular creature is not ever seen with the with the guy. However, um, because this is really a companion piece, I think it just allows you to create yeah. more of that that world. Maybe but he ate one. Exactly. I um, don't know. So let's take a look at the uh, next large, uh, big accessory that you're going to uh, want to deal with, and they've actually given us two. And I'll show you why. And then we're also going to have to do oh. uh, our light. Um, now, this version of the, the character is from the, uh, the last part of the film when they're at the uh, Lestrange uh, tomb. Uh, and his outfit does uh, depict that, that particular scene. Um, and so these are all his little accessories that he has there. He does use this at one other time in the film, but... Um, this is where he kind of inhales through this this skull, yeah, um, and exhales and shows what uh, World War II will be like, and that the the uh, we are responsible for that, um, and that's that's his way of saying, well, I'm here to stop the uh, the Muggles from doing that. So oh. uh, that that's why people should join up with him. But let's take a look. Um, the reason they've given us two is for a light-up feature. This first one here that you're seeing, um, I'm not sure if we're, uh, we've got really bright light on the on the white. Which one are you pointing at when you say the first one? This uh, one that's closest okay. to us that still uh, has the attachment yeah. um, in it. All right. This one here is uh, is a solid, not an opaque. opaque. Um, so if you're just going to have him hold it, if you didn't really want to do the light-up effect, uh, this way you can actually read uh, the German on it. Um, I did get this translated. It is uh, from an older version of German, and it's uh, for the greater good um, that is written. Yeah, um, that's... Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much I trust his, that's, when that's somebody writes... Opinion. When someone writes that on a skull, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure how much I'm going to back <laughs> their, that up. Their intentions are. However, uh, we do have a second one. Now the second one, let's get another close up here. Second one here, as you can see, is quite a bit different in color, and that is to allow the light feature. The only tool I needed was my small screwdriver in order to put in the battery. Oh. On the back there is the brass little element that you can swap out the um, pipe part. And let's turn this on, and we will. Ooh. Swap out the pipe element. Like That's so. trippy, man. But it's just another That's neat cool. little idea. Okay? Um, and I think the reason they're giving you the two is, is just when you want that light effect, it needed to be very translucent. Um, so if you're going to display it in a non-lit fashion, yeah, like, I think yeah. is why they've given you uh, the other. But, uh, you have options as well. Exactly. You Say have, you, if you're having a dinner party, like your regular display, you might have standard skull. But if you're having a dinner party, you might yeah, a formal put a dinner party where you have the, the the second spoons. Yes. Yeah. I you're would definitely say that. gonna want that. You're gonna want your light up skull for your. You're guests. gonna want that light up skull. All right. Next on here is going to be in the upper area is the blood pack oath. Uh, that also doesn't sound necessarily safe. <laughs> a blood packed oath. Oh, amulet. All right. This, as we know, plays a big part in it. It's very, very tiny, um, with a small silver thread on it. Um, this is in the instructions about how to do it, and I'm going to show a little bit of that. Um, it is one that you're going to want to be careful uh, and take your time with uh, to get it just how you need it. However, if you choose to do it as the final battle scene where that uh, piece has been taken from him, you wouldn't have to worry about it. There it <laughs> is. Depending on the pose you want to go with. Uh, but let's pull out the figure and take a look. 
One of the cool things about this too, and as we have been doing uh, through Unsealed and Revealed, uh, later on in this episode, we are going to be uh, dropping a link. Well, Cassidy yes. will be dropping a link uh, in, in the uh, in the chats, uh, and you could you could win one of these babies. That's right, you could win your own Who Jonathan knows? Depp as Gellert Gringle, Drin, Grindelwald. Excuse Get me, Grindelwald. I can't. I mean, right? It's a mouthful of words. For it's sure. a mouthful yeah. of words. Yeah. Uh, that's Grindelwald. Yes, yes, um, and it is pretty gosh darn neat looking. Um, I love the outfit. Um, you always ask what I do for it. Um, this one. Oh, I, I saw what you did on the internet. Yeah, you. I, you saw, I saw, me on saw you the internet. Um, yes, if you've if you've seen any of my stuff in in our uh, Facebook group, um, it has been uh, actual tight shots of uh, the outfit, the actual outfit, um, and that's because I was so impressed. And really wanted to have the uh, opportunity you, you, to do the comparison. You broke into Warner Brothers. I liberated myself. You, you, <laughs> you went into Warner that. Brothers and you actually saw this specific costume. Yes, this specific costume. And what's neat is this isn't behind glass. It's right there. I was, my my phone camera was two inches from the little amulet to take the photo. Really? It's, yes. It's a it's, it's a great place to. Uh, we should steal it. We should go. To, I, we should I think take if, it I threw, if you distracted outfit. somebody, I quickly threw on the outfit and we walked out. Nobody, Probably no one would. Nobody notice, would notice. Notice that. Um, <laughs> they're used to me walking around in odd outfits. And so you studied that, and now we're looking at the costume. Studied that because I wanted now. to see the costume here, and um, it is spectacular. This costume um, was uh, done by Colleen Atwood, uh, who's done so many of the other yeah. uh, Depp ones. Uh, because the last name is Grindelwald, she wanted to have that Austrian element in there, go with the Lederhosen, uh, the, kind of that new romantic style. And so it is very, very different. Let's first take a look at him from portrait and then on down. Um, yeah, tilt that head up a little bit. He's got that... We don't, uh, we don't want the shadows to make him look like a bad guy. No, no, exactly, exactly. Um, well, I mean, they, their whole idea with him was that he was... Uh, charismatic, was very rock star-like, and uh, convinced people to, you know, yeah, follow looks. his cause. Um, which, as we as we know from being written on a skull, for the greater good. Uh, you know, that's got to be got to be a thing. Um, that that look, that that tight, high, white, almost translucent hair uh, they've brought on here. I'm gonna try and angle it so you can see the eyes a little bit. There we go. Yeah, they really get that. That he dual had the eye two thing. different eyes, and that. Uh, as I was listening to an interview with uh, Depp about it, was uh, his idea, and that was because he wanted the character to be able to turn on a dime that he felt from from being charismatic and caring to you to, bam, just incredibly violent. Um, and so you you get that in this one here, and this, they brought that together with This with is those. a good example, by the way, of um, Hot Toys, and a sideshow as well, be, uh, in the stuff we've seen lately, that their latest output has really been nailing eyes. Yes, like and that's the, bringing the life to these things. Yeah, the, the tightness by which it would have to take to make them so good, and the skill with which they do it is yeah. is something that I'm, I'm pretty impressed I'm by. I'm going to move this from side to side, just so you can see, because there's the yeah. one... As there's somebody with little to no talents myself, I am very there, impressed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Our uh, wonderful cameraman there going tighter in on it, um, just to show that difference uh, in the eye. And again, just a very unique uh, sculpt on that, because he had that uh, cropped tight hair uh, shaved on the back. Um, I remember seeing the prototype, and even then really liking it, and it's, this is actually quite an improvement from what we saw in the prototype. He's got a tight uh, fade. Yeah, well, uh, before in the prototype, the uh, the line was a little bit more uh, distinguished between this front area and here. You you kind of knew they were two pieces, and I can't tell that um, now. Now let's take a look and work our way down. This is that high collared shirt, um, and then down onto the uh, kind of the blue vest uh, or blue sh uh, blue shirt. It's got a white uh, ascot. The uh, my man likes his layers. But, yep, the, the waistcoat, then the uh, longer coat. Now, uh, the coat can be removed. Um, after that, uh, no, uh, you wouldn't be removing anything else. But we're going to take a look at the coat real quick, and then I will remove it uh, so you can see, again, uh, the design elements on there. Um, the buttons on there, if you uh, we're going to try and get a little tighter on there, uh, even those, 
they've gone and replicated really huh? the actual. But I I thought okay, it's going to be just a flat silver button because of how small it's got to be. But they and nail yet, it, huh? Yet they nail it on that. And as you said, those are these details that we're seeing uh, Sideshow and Hot Toys do. Now that's just bringing a lot more life. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, leaps and bounds from even a couple years ago. Yeah, the, just just the details that we're seeing in here. Um, where, yeah, you would have had just like a little silver colored button, maybe. Exactly. And now there, it's like. And now, now any little detail uh, is being done on there. So let's take a look and spin her around. Check out the back. Now there is wire on the back, so I'm going to flail out. Oh, the back of the coat to be able to show the front. So you, we'll talk about the front. You could do some kind of yeah, exa magicus. Exactly. Yes, he's, magicus. You could be doing your magic. Casting on some spellicuses. Um, so let's spin this back around. Um, it does have a bright green. Ooh, it's like a uh, satin satin lining green, on the yeah. inside. Um, no, uh, apparently I had to look back that uh, he didn't ever actually belong to any house. So even though that's kind of a Slytherin uh, throw, that's not uh, necessarily the case. Um, but let's take a look at that uh, the whole front, the chest area, and just all of the detail. Yeah, uh, there is a lot going there because it's... that's incredible. And right now, I think um, our close up on this when we swing in um, is going to allow it to show it up um, by using some of the. Uh, the uh, shadows that we're going to get from keeping the coat uh, closed. Over on the side uh, here, you're going to have the little antlers and um, some of his little um, kind of family-esque crest stuff um, and accoutrements that he, that he uh, dressed with, which are really pretty incredible. Uh, oh, there the you lead, go. Yeah, there we go. The leader hosen themselves. Okay, um, these are a six button, a six buckle uh, leader hosen, a little taller than most, um, but. Uh, just the the way in which they've even gone and done the little uh, metal rivets along the front panel. So what are leader hosen? Is that just pants? Leather leather pants. Okay. Leather pants. Oh, all um, right. Uh, they were often more of a work pant uh, you'd, uh, you'd you'd wear, but uh, they could be also a dress, uh, depending. And Whoa. these are definitely the dressier version. If you got to do some crimes. If you've got to do some that's crimes, work, you do know? something fun. Um, and it is a neat, neat look for this character. Um, what I'm going to do uh, now is remove the jacket so we can again kind of take a look more at the figure, um, but also to uh, to uh, show that off. If you're going, let's put it back here. Via your instructions, if you're going to take the jacket off, again, always do these things slowly. Yeah, you're going to you be, don't need to speed. Yep. You're going to be taking the arms, taking them backward, and you're going to be removing the hands. So I'm going to go out of the hands. It's not going to be able to cast any spells now without them. No, nope, without the hands, that's going to be slightly more difficult. You're going to be steering clear of crimes. <laughs> you know, no crimes without hands. I mean, I feel like he could. Handless crimes. Yeah, maybe get one of them silver hands that uh, Peter Pettigrew got later on. Oh, nice. See. I remember things from the movies. You do remember things. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is put the figure up and allow some close-ups on the front while I'm going to pick out a pair of the hands to uh, yeah. switch out. How many, how many hands did he come with? Okay, so uh, he's going to come with two of the open palm hands. Okay, that's what he's going to come with. He also comes with, and we saw this with Newt as well, Hand yeah. that already has the wand. Uh, yeah, that which is which as is we nice said earlier. It's already that's mounted smart, in there. That's a smart. And then thing. Um, one of the ones that is loose. I believe it's pronounced a wand. <laughs> yeah, did yeah. I say? Yeah, I said that earlier. Wow. Um, uh, it's got a gripping hand that uh, they are saying is for holding the uh, pendant or the uh, amulet that I I said, the uh, blood oath amulet. Um, this one is a little bit more um, open. You could use for uh, laying the skull uh, into. Oh yeah, that's there you go. That's the alas poor Yorick hand. Yeah, there you go, and an another one of the open hands. So we're gonna we're gonna switch some of those out. I want a wand. I mean, give me you a wand. Want a, you want a wand hand? Yeah, um, yeah. Put all that right. wand in there. Okay. Um, 
just the the attention to detail um, on uh, the outfit. This is a, it's a very complex outfit. They, I mean, as you said, layers. Yeah, it's, I mean, definitely. This, this is an aggressively deep outfit here. Yeah. Um, there we go. We'll put a few on there, and adjusting. There you go. Oh, getting them ready to go out. Making um, sure he's. Yep. Nice and uh, clean clothes. Well, there's there's the fun little tweaks, um, but we're also uh, going to spin them around, and we're going to do what I considered uh, the most difficult thing on this figure, and that is uh, dealing with his little amulet. Um, you're going to see up on the top. You see that little loop uh, up on his uh, is that? Can left you lapel. Can you point to it. I, yep. I, uh... Right here. Do we see the little loop on his? We're gonna have. We're gonna cut to that. Yeah, we're uh, gonna close up. We're gonna do a close quick. up here. Um, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Uh, now that is a very delicate little metal loop, uh, and that's going to hold the end of your amulet. All right. I'm gonna place it on here now, so I can kind of show what it's like. Um, according to your instructions, you're going to put that uh, in there and then do it around the neck. What I found to work a little bit better. Yeah, this is a very intricate piece. This one here, oddly enough, is pretty darn intricate, so we're gonna go to the overhead. It's a dainty piece. There's, yes. There's a lot of dainty. It's very, involved. very uh, tiny little guy here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, there's a little knot on the back of the, right, I'm gonna go over the neck on that. Now, that if is, you like. That's how necklaces work. Yes. yes. Um, Thank you. Thank you, uh, Smarty. Um, uh, then, this is when I've you know, said things like tweezers or this and other. You might want to have those. Um, when it was showing it in kind of promo photos. This is things. probably impossible, but there's no way you can move that hand, is there? My you hand? Did. Yeah, because it looks yeah, like no. you're just mo doing magic yeah. um, on the... Uh, on yeah, the it's pretty hard to, to show because of how dainty it is. Well, I so mean... The, it's... the tip you're going to put into the um, the little hold. Yeah. Other around the neck. And then just kind of tuck it in. Is this like a string or is this wire? It, no, it's a, it's a very small little string. Okay. Uh, so this is when I was using my... Tweezers and such to okay to uh, kind of tuck it. Yeah, so this is one that you're going to want to be very patient with with that. Yeah. When you know, but I when... did want to show uh, how it how it goes because it is kind of, as we said, a little bit more intricate. Um, yeah. Some... Whenever you add intricacy to a piece like this, it certainly means you have to add delicacy as well. When yes. you have something like an amulet and that they're not keeping it sort of attached, they're doing that for a reason. But that also means that you're going to want to spend extra time reading the instructions and making sure that you have all your pieces yeah. ready to connect use your, together. Yeah. Use your reference photos and, and things like that and, and decide how you want it. Now, as I said before, if you went, well, wait, I'm going to have him in that end battle. Um, uh, I'm hopefully not, at this point, doing any spoilers, but he, has, uh, he's, he doesn't know it, but he's lost the amulet at that point. He's lost his amulet. Um, but there we go. We'll uh, kind of throw it in there like so. And just to make sure, Guy, this string is used for um, the amulet cord? Yes, this is the amulet cord that holds it, okay? So I kind of draped it uh, down there. Again, you're going to want to futz with this. This is one of those times when little tweezers or something like that will be pretty, pretty helpful with It'll it. Be... And uh, to get it just where you want it to, uh, to be. It's very helpful. Yeah. Look at him. Um, Look, he's ready to do magic. He's, he's ready to do lets, magic. He's got Vaughn's. Um, let's, uh, let's spin it around and show, uh, show it off. He's got um, his later hose in. Yeah. Uh, the vest on the back, having that kind of corset. Oh, that cinch lacing. in the back, yeah. Oh, wow. Cinch back there. The leader hose in having the buckling and cinching there. And then we get down into these high leather boots. Oh, yeah. Jeremy. These are cool looking. <laughs> these are neat. Yeah, these uh, these leather boots, um, and they are uh, a cut at the ankle, as we've seen before, allowing us to get more um, range of motion. 
out of them. We've been seeing that with those before. And uh, since we have it up, we'll there spin it. Tread and show you that. Ladies and gentlemen, tread he, uh He does not have to worry about it. Nope. Uh, they are a smooth bottomed um, it's, it's dress, smooth. dress boot. It's a um, nice dress boot. He's going to wear that on his way to a Rammstein concert. <laughs> exactly. Um, this kind of looks like he'd be at a Marilyn Manson show. Um, yeah, they're, they're similar. That's a little bit. Um, but as you can see, quite a bit of range of motion. Yeah, those buckles are cool. I mean, that's a cool looking boot, man. Yeah. Buckles have all been uh, silvered. The paint job on those is very, very impressive. Um, now, the um, it's, it's kind of a vinyl or vegan leather for the, uh, the leader hosen. Do small movements when you're getting that because they are also a tighter uh, look on there and you don't want to stress it you too don't want, much. You don't want loose leather pants. No, no. Who They're wants loose leather pants? A baggy leather pants that seems um. antithetical to the whole concept. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, um, just go a little slower um, if you're going to do those. Um, me, uh, as we've talked with Terry and some of the others when it comes to posing, um, to get a little more action, I would probably um, kind of move the waist more. So you you'd can... be very waist dependent on that. Um, I just, it, it brings a little more life to it when you kind of um, spin like so. Um, it uh, adds a level of dynamism. Yes, yes. Um, we are articulated in the waist and chest area if you needed to yeah, let's bend see him let's downward. See that, uh, there he is. If he needs to look down at something. Look down. He looks down on a lot of people, apparently. Um, Maybe he's looking for more crimes to do. Yes. Yeah. Are there any crimes down there I can be involved yeah. in? Hello, crimes. <laughs> Hello, crimes. This is, and that's how they do it, right? Hello, crimes. Yes. Um, I am going to remove the uh, amulet for. Uh, yeah. Post we, we got the gist of the amulet. I yep. think for the rest of this, um, you know, we're not necessarily we're we're playing with this more than exactly, closing it. Exactly. Exactly. So. Um, let's take a look. We've got our shoulders that we can pull back as well. Ooh, now it looks like he's getting abducted by aliens. <laughs> but again, it's just another nice um, point of articulation to have is the ability to move that shoulder forward or backward. Um, do we have any questions about uh, the figure or delicacy or anything I, like I, that so far? I saw there was one about the bird. There the bird. was one earlier about the bird. Yes. Terry, Terry. Uh, the bird uh, indeed is the word. He wanted to see where the, like, how yes. the feathers were connected. Ah! Magic. No. Uh, <laughs> we'll move it down and uh, move him off and uh, show off um, the feathers on that. Um, body is one piece. There is a cut mold line for uh, the back wing area to go onto the body leg underneath. And they are rooted under and into the figure. So, again, they're, they're delicate and it'll tell you to be delicate, but... Um, it's a, that's a, that's a kind of a fun thing. Whoop. Sorry about that. I was going to say, and he stands all right on his own, um, <laughs> but he does have the little uh, back there. So, ooh, and you can make him smoke that little skull right there. Yes, exactly. The bird got a hold of the skull, and everything yeah. went to heck. It's a whole, uh, it's really, a whole thing. Just, it's a whole, whole thing there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so there's there's the bird question. Um, his base. Um, when we had our newt, it was uh, again in that same area, the same yeah. um, tomb. But this one here is that center spot where he gives his big speech. Uh, so hence you've got the circles uh, going around and then giving you the nameplate. And they've gone with kind of that art deco um, on the, uh, the outside and around. So yeah, that um, looks cool. You've got very... Oh, he's telling us a secret. Oh, secret, secrets. Secrets, evil secrets. Evil secrets right there. Okay, let's let's pull up our skull. That's yeah, you're gonna go skull. Yeah. I, I really like the idea, like it seems like these would be the two things that you'd want to have him with, or yeah. Would you want to do because you can't have the wand? Yeah, you can't really so have the wand with the skull. Yeah. Um, 
I have yet to, to decide because the figure has a lot of. Yeah, a which lot one of do you pick? Do, do you pick? For, do you do him for me? But um, do you do uh, him with the skull hookah or thing, or do you? I'm do him probably going to do the skull hookah. You like that light up skull? I, don't you? I really think that's a neat. Uh, it's a neat, neat accessory. Um, Good for entertaining guests. Well, when we first saw it, um, that was the thing that her and I were like, "Look, he comes with the skull." Um, she thought it was so neat. So, um, to me, it's just how great that outfit uh, is. Now, the back of the leader hose, these are not removable, but it does have a Velcro cinch oh. to make sure that they stay they nice and stay snug. there. Is our like are those molded like the the later hosen straps or like the belt or whatever? Is that no? These are all individually made. Really? Yeah, they're not molded on there. They're not molded on. These are all. I mean, that's why this. I mean, it even has that kind of tuxedo pants stripe down the side. God, this thing must have taken forever to make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Um, just that 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 stripe down yeah, the side. Yeah, shout out to their cut and sew department. Uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, pretty incredible. The outfit on this alone is uh, is something. I I even like things like on the on the arm there, that it's the kind of un well it would be a button free but kind of that open. Uh, oh yeah, like the the, the, the cuff but not the, the opened the, cuff. Yeah. Um, which I think is just a just a very neat look. Um, all of his little. Uh, Austrian style garb that's on the front. Uh, a lot of accessories. A lot of uh, it's very Johnny. It, well, that's that's accessories. his thing. Yeah, I mean Johnny uh, obviously is very into the the costumes, and it helps him uh, bring the character. And this character was something very very different. Um, you know, he's kind of your new super bad guy because he does crimes. Yeah. Because yeah. well, yeah, so he does those he does those crimes. You gonna put his jacket back on? I'm gonna put the jacket back yeah. on. I I love the jacket. Um, and you will still see with uh, the jacket on, you still see all of that, um, the detail underneath. And uh, I just. Yeah, they really, I think yeah, it's, I love the it's really good. Just the way it lays. The uh, layers look really good on there. The Newt's Commander also has a lot of those. And I am, I'm really sort of tickled by this piece and the Newt piece, like just the attention to layered detail. Yeah that they've done like every little piece of this like nothing is skimped on as far as detail is concerned and oh, no. it's really into that yeah that's uh that makes this so very very neat um god do you know if any of the um belts at all are functional we have a quick question about that functional as in i can tighten them or loosen them kind of thing um I that believe sounds so. about right yeah yeah um yeah. the belts that you you have you have uh six in the front with the the buckles and then three in the back, um, and no, they are they are made to be there. Uh, the buckle is is uh, glued on and already tightened, and the six. Um, well, let me yeah. try and do it from the front on our tighter camera. So if any of you are actual let's take a look. six scale humans, you yes. won't be able to take. Yeah, this let's take belt. a look uh, and go as tight as we can onto those buckles um, and that front garb. Thank you. Boy, do I have a great camera crew here. It's just crazy. Yeah, man. Um, Shout out to Super Cameraman. Sam. Exactly. So you'll see uh, those six buckles, the straps themselves here, are glued down. But okay. there is that Velcro in the back to the Velcro, it yeah, to, to kind of give it that uh, that snug. And I think that was that was obviously in the creation aspect. They needed to have that to put the pants nice and snug yeah. and, and, and that around. Um, you got to keep it tight, man. Got it. Well, you know, you got a KIT. Um, the wire also comes, as I said, it uh, is, is is down the front as well. So I would. I had used it earlier only on the back to kind of open it up, but I would very much want to do like a blown back, like kind of like a spell, like I kind of I want to import Terry Smith right here and have him pose that. But I would love the idea. I just like to him. Yeah, I miss kind my, of leaning. I miss forward, hanging with Terry, having the cape. Uh, or not the cape, but the the jacket kind of blowing back from all the the magic recoil, you know. Let's see, if you can do a little something like that. I think you. I'm making that request. I am officially putting forth the request. I request that, and that he get a left hand. Well, maybe. You, what you just want me to magically make a left hand? Are there any left-handed wizards? 
Do they do they have any in the in the Harry <laughs> I'm Potter sure they universe? do, but is is, is it do they do they, have, do they call them Southpaw wizards or something like that? Yeah, yeah, like Southclaw. Let me look. Right, I want yeah. Shout out Cassidy. Check oh, that out. there is no confirmed. Wow. Just let you know. Okay, well, so I'm taking that well. personally. I'm left-handed, and it would be nice that I saw representation in the wizard community. That's all I'm saying. So you want something that blowing back kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of whoosh. Yeah, like he's doing magic in an 80s music video or something. <laughs> okay, Weisenheimer over there. I don't necessarily feel like that was very wise. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's kind of the vibe I would go for. I would. Uh, I don't know how well the wiring, like what if the wiring is designed more to keep it in place, or if it's designed for a dynamic jacket pose like that. But I was, you know, I hoping. think you can do what you do. Yeah, man. That's but um, when you'll do something like that, it's going to show off that that detail that's on the front. Wow, what a good idea. Yeah. Good idea, you're not Jeff. Gonna, you're, not Thanks, have, Jeff. you're not gonna have that with your fancy skull. Nobody's gonna be using their skull hookah with, in, a, in a windy atmosphere. Well, he's probably smoking future history, man. That could, <laughs> that could blow your mind back a little bit. It, it, that, it'd do it. It'd do it. Um, just, a, just a really interesting um, take on the character and the figure, so. Um, yeah. Do we have any I got something for you. Yes. All right. How about this? Mm -hmm. How about uh, Cassidy drops the uh, Gleam contest? Yes. How about that? If you would like a chance, a chance to win one of these uh, Gellert Grindelwald six scales from Hot Toys, uh, Cassidy is dropping in the chat the link to the Gleam contest. You will have until Friday, I'm guessing. Four days. Yes. You have four days. You have until Friday. Uh, in order to do that, you don't have to run away right now. Uh, this is going to, you know, it's still going to be there. Uh, so stick around. And then after the show, you should definitely check that out. Um, so you're going to want to get on there. And then also, if you don't win, of course, you can uh, check this piece out uh, as well. We are, it's shipping, I think, relatively um, soon. In like, around like April-ish area. Late spring is when, shitting. yeah. So mm -hmm. hopefully uh, there's that uh, coming really soon. I mean, obviously... You know, we're lucky enough to get one right here, but yes. uh, you can for sure check that out. So don't forget to enter that Gleam contest. The Gleam contest means you have plenty of ways to win to get uh, more and more entries as you go through. So I'm really excited um, for one of you to get the chance of that. And I believe this is a U.S. only. Yes, we are doing U.S. only. Unfortunately, it is U.S. only. So I do apologize for those of you that are out of the country, um, but you also. Probably have cool stuff going on at your place. That's cool, right? Yeah. So we got that's that amazing. going on. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. Congratulations yeah. on that. Um, but yeah, uh, and of course you can um, buy the piece. We do like that. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Thank you, Ken. It's in the comments right now. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know how to finish up that sentence. Uh, that's okay. You know, uh, you ever I do can that? come in here. Um, yeah, you just. What is the line? You figure it out as you go. Yes. From Michael's there it is. We we yes and. Yes. Were you a communications yeah. <laughs> major in college or something? Yes, uh, yeah. That's why you're so good yes, at communicating. And I do it. Look yeah, at that. I communicate. Uh, Guy, how's your uh, how's your magic coming on over there? You know, um, as I said, they have an they have a hand that they say is his amulet hand. So I just was kind of uh, moving. Oh yeah, the, uh, look at that! That looks great. I was moving the uh, wire around it. Now that as I said, well, not wire. It's a it's as I said, it's a fabric string. Um, so uh, do be cautious. Uh, because it's connected together and has a little tie, I was trying to hide that as well. And again, that's, I think of, of anything, um, that's going to be the little thing that you fiddle with. Yeah, that's, I like the vibe there of having him hold uh, the amulet. He's got the, the uh, wand right there. I mean, it was, the it's bond, a, that's, that's me. a very, yeah, exactly. What, what happened there? Um, that was a big deal uh, to, to him. I mean, the, the whole escape in the very beginning is making sure that he has that with him. Uh, um, so... Um, it's a, it's, uh, I was really excited for both of these to see uh, Hot Toys um, uh, start and, and move into the, the Wizarding world. And I'm liking what they're doing. I, I, Did you go to Harry Potter world uh, as well to, to practice for this? Yeah. Did you go on the ride of the Hippogriff? 
Oh yeah, the the fun little kid coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I like it because it allows me to kind of see the rest of the thing. Yeah. Um, um, oh yeah. I mean, you know, if you're gonna prepare, prepare yeah. properly. And in in the movie, they go back to Hogwarts, so it made sense that I do it. Do you have a butter beer? I did. Frozen or or. or uh, I actually had the butter beer potocrem which is the pudding one that they have in the three broomsticks and is my absolute favorite. <laughs> oh, well, like you could... Uh, so that was my butterbeer experience. You and Gellert could split a bowl of that. If yeah, you we could just, yeah. you know, just and, and talk about crimes. Um, the detail in the outfit on this is one of my favorites. Uh, as I would said, uh, with Newt, when we had the Newt piece, uh, I'm not super adept at uh, the Fantastic Beasts mythos, uh, but that being said, I am in love with these two pieces. Uh, the Newt and the Grindelwald uh, are just so good. I'm legitimately blown away by that. Like, it just looks so cool. I'm always having to do the posing backwards and upside down, pretty much. Um, You're doing great. But I, I just wanted to show off the, um, the uh, light-up feature. Put the bird in there. Put, Put a bird. bird on it. Put a bird on it. That's the word. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's take a look. Do we have any more uh, questions, comments, Do we have or any, concerns? Yeah. Um, there was one question earlier, mm -hmm. another one about the bird. What kind of bird is it? Do we know the name of that bird? Oh, gosh. Where are my, where are my bird? Uh, uh, you know, I can quickly look it up. Okay. There it is. That's what we want. Um, if you don't know that one, though, we have another one about the wand he uses. I know it. I think it has a name. It's the Elder Wand. It's the Elder Wand. It's the Elder Wand. Okay. This is the Elder Wand. It's one of the... Uh, yeah. The, it's one the of the three. Deathly Hallows. Yeah, that's what it is. It's one yeah. of the Deathly Hallows. Um, and there's the Cloak of Invisibility mm -hmm. and the Resurrection stuff. And it is, it is oh. again, the... Um, and that later on is what Voldemort so badly wants and why in uh, the Deathly Hallows uh, movie he actually goes to see an yeah. older... Uh, Grindelwald. It is. Um, in the hopes to get that. Uh, we have. Uh, it's Dumbledore's wand. Mm hmm. And then uh, it becomes, through theft, uh, mm -hmm. Voldemort's. Malfoy's. Mal no. Voldemort. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, super cameraman Sam making me look foolish on my own show. So thank you for that. No. Well, uh, well, no, but he makes us look really good. Because he knows work. all the good stuff, man. He knows the good stuff. Um, he, I would I would drink butterbeer with Sam any day of the week. Yeah? Actually, I think it might be Snape and then Voldemort, but forgive me. I forget exactly how it went. But, but man, uh, there's a lot going on um, in Harry We'll call JK and, and ask, um, who, who had wet when and how unfair? Oh, do we have her number? Let's call her. Yeah, well, it's international. So with the time oh. change, it makes it difficult. Unfortunately, so we'll, we'll, this uh, is U.S. We'll only. Yeah, exactly. It's a U.S. <laughs> um, only. We are, <laughs> we are stuck into international. But, um, yeah, the bird is a really neat feature, and I think um, even though you don't really see this particular beast with uh, this character, um, it's going to allow you to expand your um, your display and 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 all. So, I will be taking this one and putting him with my my Newton his Nifflers and, and such. Yeah. So I think uh, we were told it was an augury. Yeah, an augury, I believe. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I get the German translated, and I forget the bird's name. Um, wow. Sorry. Do your job next time. I guy. am sorry. I'm he literally, sorry. by the way, I would like to I would like to shout out Guy for all of his research um, that he does uh, for the <laughs> show. That he told me that the way he got the German translation, if this is correct, yep. you have a, a friend who is German. Yes. And they didn't know. They sent it to their grandmother who mm -hmm. is still with us. Yep. Uh, here in the studio. No, yeah, um, here in the studio. Here this. in the studio. Um, and she translated. It's from yes. an old, uh, it's, like a Bavarian it's, it's, dialect. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, and it was uh, kind of ended around the late twenties, early thirties. They stopped. Yeah, some stuff uh, happened in Germany. Uh, yeah, so it stopped uh, using using that particular one. Um, and so, but uh, that's what it was on there. So, yeah, uh, that was pretty neat to uh, to have that done. So it's it's nice to know that uh, around the world we care about our toys here. Yeah, uh, we do. Um, he's a he's a really neat he's a really really neat figure. Um, Hot Toys has done a great job with Johnny Depp in the past, um, and this continues that. I'm curious to see where they'll go. Uh, we can hope that we'll get a few more from this particular film. I'd love to see um, if the Dumbledore if the costumes are going to keep looking this fantastic. Yeah. I will. Yep. Um, and you too can check this out. Check out side.show slash unseal Gellert. 
uh, and you can have that. Also, don't forget to enter that Gleam contest for your chance to win one of these babies when they start shipping out. That's pretty exciting. Uh, do, are we, do we have any more questions, comments, or concerns, um, I Cassidy? I see currently no more, so yes, well, no. We don't have any more. Oh, well. Yes, we covered everything. I think we efficiently did. I think you did a great job. Uh, shout out to Guy Klender, okay. six scale expert and all around fantastic beast to know. <laughs> uh, Guy Klender. Um, this is the Hot Toys six scale uh, Gellert Grindelwald, uh, and, and it should be shipping sometime around spring, hopefully. So uh, get on that uh, as soon as you can. Shout out to Cassidy on the ones and twos for uh, fielding your questions, comments, and concerns live on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we are here all the time. Check out Unsealed and Revealed uh, as often as you can. Don't forget to hit uh, subscribe and like and that notifications button somewhere here. Is it here? I don't know where it is on the video, but hit that notifications bell so you can know when we are going on. We have lots of amazing stuff going up and a lot of fantastic giveaways. Um, so if we are good, I, uh, yeah, I, I believe we're good. I feel like on behalf yeah. of Guy, Cassidy, and myself, uh, thank you all for watching. We appreciate everything that you do. And don't forget to well, let your geek side show. show. Yeah, we did it. We, uh, yeah, we did it. We're we did great. It, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. Good for us.